Hello everyone, back to Project Cars 2 after a successful career progression within Gran Turismo 7. Uh, I finished uh, tier 4 of the open wheel path and I could start a new open wheel motorsport career in Formula A in tier 3, but instead I decided to do some invitational events. Quite a few of them are now open in every category. Uh, let's go with the road one. Yours should be the easiest. Well, maybe not the easiest, but I don't know, the road cars, right? I have two Ferraris to start with. Uh, I'll go with the one, the first one available. Uh, it looks like this one comes from DLC. And it's a 10 lap race without practice or without um, qualification. I can change the car. So we have 458 Special A, Enzo, never liked Enzo, F40. I think F40 has its own event, so I won't be picking up it up here. F12, TDF, and La Ferrari. Uh, I think I'll go with the F12. It's the Road A, the same as La Ferrari. So I'm curious if I'll be racing against other La Ferraris. And F12, or this is a single event car, or it's mixed, all of them with different groups. Well, we'll see. Uh, career settings. Mm. In Formula Renault, I was running it well above 100. But I won't be cocky, I don't have time to practice here. I don't have a lot of time to do any qualifying. I don't know where I'm going to start in, the time, in terms of the starting position. So I'll just go with something like 95. And I see if that actually works for me. Uh, I'll keep the opponent's aggression at 70 as it is, as it always was. So let's let's try it. I think I should drive that car, not necessarily on this truck, or maybe on this truck. I may have some setup, or may not. We'll see. Okay, so let's see if I have any setups for the car. I actually have one. <clears throat> I have no idea how much fuel I should have, 14 laps on the truck. That shows me 14 laps, I'm going to keep that. Should be good. Uh, well, there's nothing else to do here, so it's uh, I can just start. slow down here that car is wide maybe I should have picked up higher difficulty level that was quite easy to start with oh I braked way too early Nicely behind, leaving me enough space on the exit of that corner. Phase of breaking there before the Ascari. 
And now Parabolica have no idea where to stop braking. So that's the end of flop 1 out of 10. 1.3 seconds advantage over the second. Breaking too early here. Losing a lot of time. I don't know the breaking points for that car on um, Monza. And it shows. Two liters, I think I've got like 54 or something. Or I had at the beginning of the race. It's now lap 3 out of 10. 42 liters left. Two seconds now. And we can see that, and I can feel it on force it back, the wildness of this car. Uh, feels like Ferrari. I brake a bit later but at first she came but it was still too early
still too early on the braking. I slowed down way earlier than I should have. Uh, that cost me quite a lot of time. seconds on the longest straight. Temperatures are looking good. Hottest one is 93. The coldest one is 72. They're all green as they should be. The brake stems are looking good as well. Tape goes for the oil and water temperatures. constant fight with car, even on the fourth gear here for Abulika. That might have been the best break into the chicane so far. I think it was late enough now.
just a one second advantage. While we're nearing to the end of lap seven, three laps to go. chance for the personal bust after two sectors it's in green Take of hitting the sausage curb. It's still around one second advantage with just uh, one and a half lap to go. and uh, slower than my best lap. And if this was an American racing series, we would see a white flag beneath the final lap. on the last lap, a small one, but still a mistake. The car slid in the braking to the right, and the right hand tires uh, went to the grass. something we want to avoid in braking. 
luckily I managed to keep the control over the Ferrari and I'm still in P1 with the final braking to Parabolica last corner of the race and a win with just 1.8 seconds to the second one at the start of the race I thought that uh, setting up the difficulty to 95 might have been too low but I think seeing how close that P2 AI was constantly pushing hard keeping the pressure high I think that was a right choice I'm afraid that if I put it to a hundred that might have been too high so 95 was just right Let's get this car to the pits, to the garage. I have, uh, or I had, 12.7 liter fuel left when I crossed the finish line. So that's uh, another three laps worth of fuel. That really felt good. Yeah, 1.458 at the finish line. And I possibly had the fastest lap, barely. Uh, let's see, maybe they're going to show it. Yes, it was the fastest lap, just. Doesn't really matter, there are no points. This is just a single race and it's a win. Oh, they actually gave me points for this one. I'm not sure why. why? Uh, The tire usage was minimal, uh, 4%. Okay, so you just get the trophy for that and that's it. Okay, so let's move to that Ferrari 40 and try this one as well. The difference here will be that that will be driven on the H-stick. There we go. That's a better view on the H-stick. So, because it will be... Uh, yeah, can I change the car? No, I cannot. Uh, what what happened there? Something happened. No, this is just a 40, nothing else, obviously. Uh, I'm going to modify the difficulty here, though, because I'm driving on H-stick and it will be heel and toe. It will be harder. So I'm going to lower it to 85 and I'll see if that's enough. 10 laps as well. No practice, no qualifications, so straight to race. Um, Pista di Fiorano, I think this is just purely Ferrari track, their test track. Uh, I've never seen it before. I did a few laps on it in that car just to get a feel of the race track because it's, I'm completely new to it. Uh, I used that opportunity to set up that car. So I have some kind of setup here, which is purely, it's just purely just tires and fuel so yes let's try it i'm not even the first 
first top 10. So I'll be starting from what? I don't even know. Eleven. A wild car. Good start though. What are they doing? Whoa, that was crazy. You know what? I didn't like that. Uh, the fact that I got that the, what, what the guy in front of me was doing, and I hit him. I lost 21% on our era. Let's restart it. And again, clutch first gear. That was good launch. Definitely good start. But I'm being parked here. Oh, they're leaving some space, which is nice of them. Thank you very much. P8 at that stage. Starting from P11. Oh, 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 oh. That Ferrari is not us. Easy to drive as the F12 I was driving in previous race. That was a dive bomb. But I didn't hit anyone. And I got two positions. <laughs> so I'll take it. I was really lucky there. I could have been much, much worse. Apology.
Oh, that was just a little torch like in GT racing, or maybe during car racing. Not even a one person damage. under the braking lock the wheels I went skidding to the grass I was lucky it didn't spun it didn't spin Not a place for overtake, unfortunately. But this is. guys in really quick succession that's good two more to go with five laps to go five five out of ten Exit of that. Well done, that second place kind of catch up with the Fast SS gave me a good attacking position. Good at hard braking to left hander.
Oh, now the AI in P1 went over the grass. Tema's last time, my favorite place. To overtake. Three laps to go. One second, still not safe. One mistake and it's all good. Great stuff. That's the fastest second sector of Speaking so about far. mistakes. Oh wow. I was got a bump. When I was driving behind them, I kind of used them as a braking reference. When I got to first, I completely missed the braking pointer. Better this time. I'm really missing those breaking points when I'm in the first place. Final lap. We're looking really good here. Final lap now. Just keep it on the island and take the second flag. You can do it. That's the best sector one time of anyone so far. Great job. Keep it up. I finally wore up the tires on the car. Took me some time. It's quite a advantage at the moment of four seconds, so as long as I don't, don't make any stupid mistake, should be easy win at that stage. Final straight and the finish line. Oh, I guess there are no pits here, so that's why that is why there is no cooldown lap here. Four and a half seconds advantage. Uh, 
the best lap was much, much faster, but starting from 11 positions uh, didn't make it an easy win, but very rewarding, really, really cool. Okay, that allowed me to clear two invitational events and yeah, that'll be enough for today. Uh, it was fun. I need to prepare for more of this. I still have three more available. Uh, Redline Trophy, Cutbill Mono, Challenge Cup and Japanese Street Trophy. For now, thank you all for watching. It was a short session. Oh, you earned the following accolade. Perfect. Where can I see those accolades? Accolades. Uh, that was bronze, right? It wasn't. That's so many of them. Yeah, the Ferrari Road Car Showcase and F40. Perfect. Great. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And see you next time.